One of our surprise favorite countries on a recent trip to Europe was Ukraine. While traveling around Ukraine, we marveled at fascinating architecture and were welcomed by friendly locals in both Kiev and Lviv. However, the ultimate surprise was just how good the food is in Ukraine. My goodness! Ukrainian cuisine may be the most underrated we've sampled. We literally arrived having never tried any authentic Ukrainian dishes before, and we left with a new appreciation of the cuisine and the desire to try more. Often referred to as the breadbasket of Europe, Ukrainian dishes are heavily influenced by the ingredients that spring from its rich dark soil. When you think of traditional Ukrainian food, think hearty dishes such as borscht, dumplings, meats and stews. But contemporary Ukrainian cuisine has a unique flair of its own. In fact, we had so many delicious meals in Ukraine that we felt the courage to sample international cuisine as well, eating at both Georgian and Korean restaurants. In this Ukraine food guide video, we delve into all of the delicious Ukrainian cuisine we tried for the first time. But enough with the rambling, let's jump in with our appetites. Guys, it is lunchtime here in Lviv and we tried to find the most traditional Ukrainian restaurant that we could and that's how we ended up <laughs> at Seven Piggies and yeah I can tell you taxidermy is really popular lots of stuffed animals there's like beavers and squirrels and owls um, it's very colorful it's all white walls but it's like decorated with these bright flowers so yeah it's super cool we're the only ones here and our food has arrived okay okay so Sam neglected to tell me the waitress is standing <laughs> next to me while I'm rambling on camera. That was awesome. Look anyway, at you carrying on like a pro. She brought us something called banosh, and I believe this is some kind of sheep's cheese with like, looks like bacon. So I'm just going to try it on bread. I'm not entirely sure how you're yeah, supposed we got a bread, to eat this. We got a bread basket, so. But you know, bread and cheese seems like a pretty good idea, so let's go for it. Oh, and isn't it egg? It's yeah, like egg. egg too. Egg, Both sheep's way. cheese, and this looks like some kind of bacon. Mmm. Tasty? That's quite nice. It's the first time to try it. I feel like I could eat this on its own. I don't even yeah. need the bread. Try a bite on its own. Mmm. Good stuff? That's good. First time having this. Sam with the fancy water wheel right behind him. Right behind me. All right. All right. Time to try this. Banosh. Got a nice big bite. And it's kind of like divided into layers. Like over here you have the cheese and then you have the egg and then the, the, the sprinkled bacon bit. So I tried yeah. to get a bit of everything on here. It kind of looks like a like a fluffy omelet. Yeah. Just bite. Mmm. Mmm. Isn't that good? Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I can that's have better than breakfast. that's better than an omelet. Yeah. And I like how crunchy the bacon is. Mm-hmm. It's really like, that's the first thing I taste them. And then, oh, the cheese is really nice. It's the salty cheese. Yeah. And with the egg, yeah, it's kind of, reminds me a bit like a premium omelet or something. Mm -hmm. All right, and we also ordered wine and we got a bread basket. And yeah, usually I found when you order bread baskets here in Ukraine, you get both brown and white bread, which yeah. is cool. But you know what mistake we made? What? We pointed at the, the cheaper price for the wine, and it turns out it's only 50 ml of wine. Oh yeah, we, <laughs> Look at that. that's really small. I haven't even touched it yet. We, we need like half a liter between us. Come yeah, on. yeah. This is a taste. Well, we do. In all fairness, we do have to do a lot of filming today, yeah. so probably it's shouldn't have, have it too off much. With wine. <laughs> Anyways, we yeah, we got a Cabernet. It's made from the Ukraine, and most of the wine from the Ukraine apparently comes from Odessa. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing this might be from Odessa. Yeah. Also, the really popular wines that you can order at restaurants in Ukraine include Georgian and Moldovian wine. Yeah. So we decided to go for something super local, made in the country. Smells good. Mm. It's pretty good. That's a decent, yeah. that's a decent dry red, yeah. 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 Kind of has a cherry taste to it. <laughs> Look at him getting it. Let's try the brown bed. No butter, so I'm just gonna take a bite. You should use a bano. It's pretty good with bread. Mm. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Yeah. That's nice. It's just nice having it as an accompanying side dish. Mm -hmm. A work of art right here. I believe we've ordered something called Kremsliki. And I need to You gotta open break it. this, baby. I can't actually lift the bread off, so we're gonna have to break it. 
burrow your way in, huh? Ugh. Freaking it. How do they do this? Oh my gosh, look at that. MG, MG, MG. You can do it. It's like they me. cooked the bread over oh, this what? ceramic bowl. Oh my gosh, it t the camera just totally fogged up. Okay, so now <laughs> that we've managed to break all the bread off, yeah. and the we show you what's inside. The defogging of the lens. The defogging of the lens. So in here, we've got some pork. We have potato pancakes. We have this like creamy sauce with dill and carrots and garlic. And it all looks really, really good. Yes, Let's go in for some pancakes. I've really been enjoying these like fried pancakes with yeah. like, you know, savory mushroom sauces on top. It's been so good. Yeah, we haven't shown them before in videos, but we've been eating them a lot. It's just mm, kind of on our so own time. Is it too hot? So, so hot. Yeah, I mean, it's piping hot. <laughs> it fogged up the lens, so. Mm. It's good though. But it's so creamy. So creamy. Okay. So creamy and yummy. This is one of my favorites. Sam's going in. Yeah, my turn to try it. He's fishing something He's out. Breaking off the potato sauce. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's so hot. Potato pancakes. <laughs> I can feel the heat. Feel that heat. There we go. I'm gonna try mine with a little bit of bread. First, I'm gonna blow on it. Good stuff. Oh. Is one of my favorite things to eat here in the Ukraine for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, I've now had it about three or four times, mm -hmm. and it's a dish now that whenever we go out in order to like traditional Ukrainian it's a food, we it's a staple. Get, we have to get that one. <laughs> it's just so nice. It's that sauce that makes it. So moving on to the main, yeah. the meat dish. What the did meat you dish. Get? Well, this this meal is kind of the classic case of us of our eyes being a little bit bigger than our stomachs because yeah. oh this thing God. is huge. This apparently is the house specialty. They mm -hmm. actually have named this dish after the restaurant. It is the Seven Pigs, and it is a huge pork leg. It appears like they have like a cheese or some like melted cheese, melted all over. cheese sauce. And I'm just gonna like carve Ooh, off a huge. That looks good. Like look how big that is. Oh man, the meat looks so tender. It does. It looks really tender. So I'm gonna get some sauce on that. Take a huge bite. Oh my gosh, that is such nice meat. So tender. And actually, it's not a cheese sauce, it's a mustard sauce. Oh. It's got a kick to it, yeah. Oh, to wow. Totally different than what I thought. All right, let's do this. Do this. I'm gonna grab what, some man? meat. I also wanna get a bit of the skin. Yeah, sure, try to get some of the skin, because that's and really some nice. Some of the sauce. And make sure you get some of that mustard sauce. That. A little bit of everything in one yeah. bite. Oh my gosh. I know this looks messy, but. It actually it looks it reminds, quite appetizing. It reminds me of roast chicken where you keep the skin on it. So of course this is pork. <laughs> mm. Isn't that good? Yeah. My god. The meat's quite tender, like it reminds me of pulled pork a little bit. Yeah, it has that kind of texture. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the mustard, I mean, it's got some kick, but also a bit of sweetness to it as well. So. Mm -hmm. It really balances out. Balances it well, huh? This is good. It's tasty. Mm -hmm. My gosh, and we still we still have another dish and it's just to come like and we're we're kinda getting out of the whole stage. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, so another side dish we ordered is Vareniki, which are the dumplings. These ones are black. Yeah. We've, so we haven't had this before. It looked interesting. Yeah, we've never tried the black dumplings. So. All we know is that they're stuffed with pork and veal. There you have it. Ooh, that looks good. Mm. Nice. That is quite good. But we have no idea why they're black. How did they make them black? The only black food I've had before <laughs> ink squid. used squid. Squid ink. <laughs> squid ink. I call it ink squid. <laughs> squid ink. But I don't know if they would put squid ink. Yeah, good question. A what pork is and veal dish. Well, yeah, super Help us solve this mystery, guys, if you, know, if you know. Sam, doing it for black dumplings. Oops. Ooh, they're quite dense. Yeah, they're heavy. The they meat heavy. is heavy. Mmm. Oh, wow. Those are really different than the ones we've tried before. Yeah. We've mostly had like potato and cheese ones, mm -hmm. where this is like in just entirely meat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are denser for sure. Yeah. You know what? These ones almost look like they've been steamed instead of boiled. Yeah, I think they may have. Yeah. One more. They're really good. They remind me a little bit of dim sum. I was just thinking that. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Seriously. Tasty though. All we need is some soy sauce and a pair of chopsticks. <laughs> Bring it the sour cream. There you go. 
well thankfully dessert is a smaller portion than everything yeah. else because yeah. we're stuffed we're stuffed and this is like i think a ukrainian style kind of cheesecake mm -hmm. and it's got like a chocolate topping and yeah. i think i've been able to see what might potentially be dried pieces of fruit in the middle i think on the other side yeah i think i actually have one in my bite there you go Raisins. Raisins. Mm. Cheesecake with raisins. Mm. That's so good. Because like this is just like pure cheesecake. There isn't really like um, a bottom layer. It's just pure dense thick cheesecake. Just the way I like it. <laughs> so I kind of feel at this point the meal's sort of turning into a challenge. Oh my <laughs> a challenge meal. We're so full. But this is like an endurance sport. I always have room for cheesecake though. We it really is. need to start ordering less. That's the problem. <laughs> Isn't that good? Mm. Dense, huh? Is there a bit of alcohol in there? It could be. It could be. I wonder if those raisins have been soaked in... Rum-soaked raisins. Vodka or something. <laughs> taste a little something-something. Good stuff. Mr. Foodie, it is time for dinner. When in Kiev, there's one dish you have to get for sure, that being chicken Kiev. So oh, yeah. we've ordered this, and we've ordered a whole bunch of other different things, and we're just waiting for it to come, and it's always that exciting moment, mm -hmm. because I'm hungry, and I can't wait to try it. But in the meantime, but in the meantime they brought it. Oh, right. I forgot about that. First up, vodka. Yeah. So, so this is our first drink of the night. <laughs> yeah, we have red wine coming from but <laughs> Some try Ukrainian that. vodka to kick things off. Oh wow, you, you just downed it in one shot, alright. <laughs> that's how wow. it's gonna go. <laughs> yeah. That's that's got uh, an infusion of some sort. It's kind of like a lemony taste. Ooh. Uh, but it's very strong, as you mm -hmm. can imagine. Yeah, that'll kickstart the evening. Alright, tell us. Yes, so the complimentary appetizer is uh -huh. basically it's brown bread yeah. and it comes with pork fat and pickle. Alright, oh, pork it looks fat. Looks pretty darn good. I think it's a one biter. Mm -mm. Pork mm. fat, yum. That is good pork fat. <laughs> It tastes a bit like a, um, just like processed meat. It's really good. Mm. It's really nice bread. It's spongy. It's delicious. It's kind of like free food, right? Mm -hmm. There's more coming. All right, so I too am kickstarting the evening with some Ukrainian vodka. The first I've had in the country, and we've been yeah. here how long? I know. I can't believe I had it before. It's strong, isn't it? I'm just doing a little sip. That's all I can handle. But aside from vodka, they also brought us free bread. Yeah, complimentary even though, bread. Even though we said no, thank you. Um, <laughs> but what's yeah, even nice, cooler, though. yeah. So I thought this was butter, mm -hmm. but no, this is a salty cheese. And then I thought this was butter, but no, apparently it's pork fat with like garlic and some chives. So, ooh la la. yeah, ooh la la indeed. I'm gonna start with the cheese. Gonna spread a bit on and there. And then we'll move on to pork fat and see what that's like. You know, there's, there's lots of pork fat going on in yeah, the menu we, tonight, we are, isn't there? We are ensuring we, we get our, <laughs> our, our quota of pork fat in. Mm. Mm. That's garlicky. Is it? It's a garlicky cheese spread. <coughs> is it good? No, it is quite nice, yeah. Wow. <laughs> it goes well with the vodka. <laughs> but now... Now for the other one. Let's try pork fat. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever smeared pork fat on a piece of bread before. But well, our waitress was telling us this is super Ukrainian, so... Yeah. We're gonna do it. We're, We're gonna, gonna do, do it. it. Pork fat. Here we go. It's almost like butter. Is it? But like thicker than butter. Thicker than butter. Yeah, it really coats your mouth. That's fascinating. It's not bad. That's cool. We're trying some new things here. First time, yeah. 
So now that we've had some vodka, we're yeah. moving on to the wine has the arrived. Wine. The wine, and the cool thing about this wine is that it's a Ukrainian wine. It's a dry red. I'm really excited to try this because I, I, I did get to try the Odessa dry red at a wine bar the other day. It was really good. So I don't have a lot of experience with Ukrainian wine. Um, I've tried a lot more like Georgian and Moldovian, like uh, yeah, nearby. Also tried Romanian too, but not a lot of Ukrainian. So this will be good. It's a nice smell. It smells a bit like cherries. Ooh. Look at you getting fancy with your wine descriptions over there. It's nice. It's it's not too strong or overpowering. No. It's got more like a it's got a more of like a subtle flavor. It reminds me a little bit of a merlot. Ooh. It's quite good. All right. And aside from wine, what else has arrived? The and food just keeps that, showing up. Yeah, it just keeps showing up. So I think is this the pickled herring? Yeah. So I ordered some pickled herring for us. Yeah. Comes with I think boiled potatoes. Yeah. And also some um, pickled onions. Pickled onions. So there you go. I will try that. Lots of pickled goodness. Ooh, this looks good. Yeah, we figured we haven't tried a whole lot of cold Ukrainian appetizers. Oh, that's so nice. Oh my gosh. Fish is delicious. Yeah? So flavorful. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I think this may, this may end up being our favorite dish this whole evening. Really? At All least right, for well, me. I'm gonna dig This is setting a very high standard to begin with. Alright, I'm gonna grab a little bit of everything. So let's grab half a potato. Yep. Half a piece of fish, some onion, and get these flavors all mixing together. Flavor explosion. Mm. Isn't that good? Mm. I love that. I absolutely love that. Nice salty herring. Wow. Yeah. If that's, a, that's a really smooth fish. It is. If for something that is pickled, it's surprisingly yeah. juicy too. More oh food, my gosh! More, more food. food. More food. Wow. Potatoes pancakes with sour, you, cream. sour cream. Yes, this is very good. Okay, thank you. So what do you think of the wine? It's good. Isn't that good? I like it. I'm really starting to get into dry wines. Yeah, dry reds especially. Anyways. We have another dish. We can hardly keep up with all the food. <laughs> it's showing up at our table. But I ordered some potato pancakes. Yeah. Fried potato pancakes. We're gonna add a little bit of sour cream there. Ooh. I love the sour cream in the Ukraine. Yeah. It's such a nice addition to like the dumplings, to the, to the pancakes like mm -hmm. this. Just to anything, we've really tried it on to be honest. Yeah. And you delicious. know what? I've also been enjoying just ordering a whole bunch of little appetizers instead of big mains. Yeah. So that we can sample a so bit of everything. Have even more food. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot harder than you That's really nice. It's kind of like a grated potatoes, like kind of shaped into a pancake and then fried. So it's like nice and golden, a little bit crispy, but still like soft and oily in the middle. So, yeah. Yum. That sounds, yeah, like, my, that yeah. sounds like my kind of pancake. Mm -hmm. That's a wine to wash it down. What else do you need? So the main has arrived. This is what you came here oh, for. The star of the meal. Yeah. Yeah, chicken Kiev. And guys, it just looks like art. Like, look at this. It, it makes, yeah. it looks like, uh, you know, it looks like it comes on a stick, but it's yeah. actually chicken breast. Look, I take that yeah, off. Yeah, it looks like a, a chicken leg or a <laughs> yeah. drumstick. It's just decoration. Oh, and so hi. this is basically breaded chicken. Yeah. And inside, Sometimes it can be stuffed. It's, it's, every every restaurant has a different way of preparing it. Oh my gosh! Look at that. Oh, it's stuffed with some good goodness. It it's looks like it's a butter, sauce. I think, right? Yeah, it usually has some like some butter inside. And I, you know what? The easiest way for me to find out what's in it is to actually just try it. Let's actually just eat it. Stick it in your mouth. Oh, it's juicy. I don't know if you can see the juices coming out. <laughs> oh my, that looks so good. Let's try that. <laughs> what do you find? Oh my god, it's so, so good. Yeah. So delicious. And you're right, it does have like a, a buttery kind of texture and sauce in the middle. And then the outside, outside is it's really 
like delicious. It's it, that's the breaded part of the chicken. Yeah, reminds me a little bit like a milanesa that we tried. A chicken milanesa. Yeah, like chicken milanesa. <laughs> also reminds me. Oddly enough, of something that my mom used to make, it was like a kind of like shake and bake with pork chops or with chicken. So it's got a really nice coating on the outside, and then the chicken itself is really tender and flavorful, and quite juicy too, I must say. So it's awesome, like it is superb chicken. OMG, dessert has arrived. We are we arrived. We ordered variniki, which are these little dumplings, and we got two kinds. So I know we ordered the cherry kind, and the other one's kind of a surprise. So let's see. I'm just gonna cut it open. Yeah, this is technically dessert. Ta -da! Oh wow. Ooh, and to go along with it, we have um, sour cream with a little bit of jam. Yeah. So let's just add put a on a dollop. Mm. Is that good? Mm. It's a cherry yeah. That's good. <laughs> but now I'm curious about the other one. Yeah, try the other one. Oh, this might be cheese. Okay. You think Let's it's just try it on maybe some. salty cottage cheese? Or maybe sweet. A sweet cheese. Sweet cheese. I would have been a little weird to have <laughs> yeah, salty cheese with our dessert ones. No. That's true. It's a nice, nice combination. Yeah, I was gonna say that would be a perfect combination. Mm -hmm. Yum. Nice mm -hmm. way to finish off the meal, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Well, well. Well, it's time for price point. It was 560 in local currency, which is just under 22 US dollars at the moment. Mm -hmm. Really good value, $11 mm -hmm. per person. We feasted. We, it was really good. We were a bit picky, to be honest. We really ate a lot. It was a lot of food. It was a lot of wine. It was a lot of dessert. Appetizers, mains. Yeah. A lot of free vodka. Just, a lot yeah, of free bread. Yeah, a lot of free bread. Just a lot of everything. A lot of free pork fat. Anyway, that was, that was just an awesome Ukrainian meal. <laughs> been really enjoying Ukrainian food here in Kiev and actually we are leaving tomorrow so it's a little bit sad so this is our officially our last dinner here in Kiev so saying we'll goodbye you love you. exactly ciao Oh wow, that looks beautiful. <laughs> so we are diving straight into another Ukrainian food video. As you can see, the food's already at the table. So we're gonna get rolling here. But yeah, we're at a restaurant called Opanas, which Sam discovered by chance when he was walking around the Tadashi Jogging Chinko. yesterday, in fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's located in the middle of a park. And also the restaurant is like built around this giant tree. Like so right now cool. we're on the second floor yeah. and the tree trunk it's yep. just there yep. so it's a pretty cool setting it feels very yep. rustic very traditional we actually came here for dinner last night and they had live oh, music fabulous. they were playing the accordion so we were like we need to come back for yeah. lunch and here we are at like 11 in the morning eating lunch anyways you're probably wondering what this is for my appetizer i ordered a mushroom soup mushroom soup with dumplings and it said it came with bread crust so i was like all right they're probably gonna bring me some bread or maybe there's gonna be some bread crust like floating on the soup so there is my soup and if i kind of touch the bread 
it's starting to get a little soft because we've been taking so many pictures. <laughs> yeah, we have. So I should probably dig in before it starts like seeping through the bread. But yeah, if you have a closer look in here, look at this. It looks so good. Some real mushrooms in there, some carrot, there's dill, a nice broth. I'm so excited for this. I skipped breakfast purposely for Ukrainian food. Mm. Isn't it nice? That is good. We've got some really nice fresh mushrooms in there. It just looks so good. Look at that. Rich vegetables. And yeah, this is crazy. Like a few days ago, we knew nothing about Ukrainian food. And we've just been trying everything we can. And we're enjoying it so much. It's all like really hearty, filling food. So yeah, this is delicious. All right, so I'm just gonna break a piece off my lid. Ugh, so I'm pretty sure it's for dipping. This is nice and toasted. It's like nice and buttery. Ooh la la. Mm. This is a really fun meal. All right, so I am having a Ukrainian salad here and it's pretty special. It's got um, veal, it has goat cheese, it has zucchini. You can see that it has some tomatoes here. I'm just gonna like- I see mushrooms Yeah, there's well. mushrooms. Oh wow, it looks so good. And it so comes good. in a honey mustard glaze. Yes, it looks beautiful. So I'm gonna try a bit of meat, a little bit of cheese, and how about some tomato? That's a nice big bite. What do you think? Oh my gosh, that is so good. Yeah. Oh man. That is like an amazing salad. You could actually eat that as kind of a main. It's that good. Mm -hmm. And it's got, oh, it's just so flavorful. I love the, I love the dressing. Mmm. It's just delicious. So what are you holding in your hand? So here there? is what I call a big sexy mug of beer. Mm -hmm. That is a proper pint. And I'm trying the local one. It is Lvivsky 1715. So, so that one probably shot. comes from Lviv. <laughs> one, 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 one would assume. One would assume. <laughs> oh, it's a nice beer. Yeah. We've been doing a lot of walking this morning, so I feel like I've earned it. <laughs> we almost entirely forgot about your drink. What are you well, having? My drink isn't as exciting. I'm not having the local beer or anything, but I am having a forest berries juice, so. How's that? It's good, but who wants to hear about juice when my main has arrived? <laughs> I ordered cabbage rolls, and yeah, these come stuffed with rice, beef, oh, those pork. Look so good. I you, forget the other ingredient onions. Can onions. you lift that up for us? Oh, well. <laughs> I've kind of destroyed it, but there it is. Okay. Look at that. Okay. Looks, Looks so good. good. In we go. These are still steaming. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Good? Mm-hmm. Wow. A little hot right now. <laughs> yeah, she did just bring it to us, so. And that's really rich and savory. And they're kind of like floating in a broth, almost like borscht. And I had some sour cream and dill on top. So yeah, we've got some really nice flavors happening here. Oh my gosh, here's this like, it's like one. dangling. It's dangling. Poor thing. I don't know how to eat cabbage rolls out of a bowl. This is super, super tasty. I would really recommend this dish. I think it's one of my favorites that we've tried so far. Sam's main is here. Oh, this looks so good. Us? Yeah, so when she was bringing it over, it was actually it was actually still flaming a little bit. Oh yeah, she lit it on fire. It's yeah, so cool. That's so we cool. Didn't we didn't we that. didn't we didn't capture that unfortunately. Um, it's beautifully presented here. Yeah. So this is duck brisket mm -hmm. and it appears to be cranberry sauce and then some um, some caramelized oranges. Yeah, some caramelized oranges on the bottom. So yeah, yeah. whoa, in he right, goes. Let's try that. So I'm mixing it with the cranberry sauce. That looks so good. So good. Oh man. Good selection. That is amazing. It reminds me of 
like like turkey dinner when you're mixing in the turkey with the um, cranberry sauce is so delicious so delicious and it's um it's a very it, it's it's tender but it's also like at the same time it's a little bit of a more chewy meat mm -hmm. so that's stuck for you very rich and flavorful though very delicious time for the one thing we've been neglecting we were brought a bread basket a little while ago and this this is really nice looking brown bread like yeah. take a look at this it has like seeds on the outside and maybe even cranberry yeah maybe even cranberry in the middle in and even the butter looks like quite, Ooh, quite like dill yeah it looks like it's a dill maybe garlicky butter so i'm just gonna put a lot on there spread it on oh yeah time for the first bite Mm -hmm. Oh man, that's <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> it's just a type of bread that I could make a whole meal out of. Mm. But we still got dessert coming, um, so don't. <laughs> last but not least, it is time for dessert. And I'm not gonna lie, there's probably nothing Ukrainian about this dish. We ordered apple strudel. Yes. Um, we had this last night. It was it amazing. Was so good. It's a 20 minute wait, but it's yeah. the best wait you could ever have. It's yeah. just unbelievably good. And this is a dessert that's recommended by all the waiters and waitresses yeah. here. In we go. Fresh out of the oven with ice cream and caramel and icing sugar. Mm. Good stuff. Isn't that amazing? It really is. <laughs> it's so good. I'm so already so done good. my half. <laughs> so, so good. Don't you dare touch mine. Time to wrap things up here. So the price of that meal was 770, which was 30 US dollars. And mm -hmm. that's definitely the biggest splurge we've had here. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it was wonderful. Everything was delicious here. And we did get some decadent things like duck. And then we also had dessert and tea mm -hmm. at the end and beer and everything. So yeah, it was totally worth it. Highly, highly recommend this place. This place is wonderful. The food, the quality is just outstanding. But we're also going to be making some videos where we show you guys how cheap Kiev really is. And That's yeah, highlighting some affordable meals, not just splurge meals. That's true. So ta-ta! Ta-ta! Good day from a chilly summer day here in Kiev. It is lunchtime and today we are going in search of food. What are we gonna have? We're gonna be having a whole bunch of different Ukrainian dishes. And yes. this is a cuisine we're not too familiar with. Not at all. So we're just hoping <laughs> to order a whole bunch of different things and try most of them for the first time. Let's go. Alright guys, so we've made it inside the restaurant. This place is called Katyusha and we were actually here yesterday and we ordered so much food and it was really good. So we decided to come back and show you guys what Ukrainian food is all about. So we've gone all out once again today and we've ordered like four different mains and dessert and drinks. Yeah. So yeah, this is going to be a fun little introduction to Ukrainian food for both us and you guys watching because this is basically our first time, you know, getting acquainted with Ukrainian dishes. So, should be tasty. Sam is loving the vibe. Yeah, <laughs> this, this restaurant is so cool. It's like stuck in a time warp. I mean, it's got so many different retro things going on from yeah. old TVs to old video game consoles and just like the paintings, the wall hangings and the different decorations in the restaurant. It's kind of a fabulous place, I have to say. Yeah, it kind of looks like the 70s, but with lots of antiques. Yes. Yeah, very has a very 70s, 80s type of feel. Okay, so first up, we are starting with borscht which is a sour soup. This is one of the traditional dishes that you've got to try here in the Ukraine. Now, the original recipe calls for beetroot, but I think we've somehow managed to order the cabbage one, so it's lacking that distinct, like, purpley red color. This one's a bit more orange instead. Lots of shredded cabbage in there. Looks like we've got potatoes, a little bit of meat, some dill, which I've mixed in. So yeah, this is really tasty. I love soups, and sour stuff is great for me. Especially on a little bit of a chilly day. Yeah, huh? it is so chilly out, so I'd love to be having some soup. Really good. It's Isn't tasty. It good? All right, my time to try borscht. But before I even do that, over here we have some. It comes with bread. Two little yes, bread it does. rolls. 
and we had these yesterday, so I know what this is. So this is like a, a little container of sour cream. Yeah. And in here, it's uh, kind of like a, a buttery, oily, garlicky mix. Probably could be it's, like I olive oil. I think it's oil. olive oil and dill. I'm not sure about the garlic in there. No, I do taste the garlic. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to try the bread, dunk it in this one, and then have a bit of that with borscht. Looks really good. Ooh, there's a big piece of meat. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I also Why remember not? reading that you can add the, the sour cream to your borscht. Mm -hmm. You can actually just put it in your soup. That sounds like a really good idea. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that meat's so tender, it just melts in your mouth. I mean, mm. yeah, this is... Let's experiment. All right, let's actually try that then. <laughs> All right. Well, take a bit. Just like that. Scoop it right in. I'm just going to stir it in a bit. This time I'm going to go for more of a cabbage potato bite. Mm. Oh yeah, it tastes way better with the sour cream. Yeah. Oh yeah, way better. Sam approved. Sam approved. So Sam here went for a salad. Yeah, I wanted to try the, I think it's called the Olivier, Oliver salad. Olivier. Olivier, and it's just a very, it's very visible. To, you can see exactly what's in it. Yeah. So you've got like eggs and carrots and peas and I think little cubes of ham and it's, it looks like it's kind of like in a, in a type of a mayonnaise type of sauce. Mm -hmm. Time to try that. All right, and he goes for a bite. Mm. The Olivier salad. Mm. What good. does he think? Kind of reminds me a bit of like um, a potato salad or something, mm -hmm. like the kind of salads that you would uh, have like in Canada. It's more similar to that. Yeah. But it's also really good because it's got like more ingredients than a typical potato salad. Mm -hmm. So I do very much like it. I like that it's, uh, yeah, it's <laughs> it's it's uh, it's a bit of a richer salad, obviously, more of a high calorie one. And we all know my boy needs his calories, right? <laughs> and his weather, yeah. I am ready for plate number three. Have a look. So for this one, we got potato pancakes. And yesterday we tried zucchini pancakes, which were green and they were really tasty. But we figured potato ones were probably a oh, yeah. bit more traditional. And we are just, we are gonna slather that uh, Yeah, sour that's cream sour cream on. on. Because so, <laughs> yeah, these are a nice little size. You can probably order them as appetizers or as a side dish. So they look like they've been pan fried. Yeah, and you can actually see if you look at the texture, I mean, I've kind of made a mess of it, but it's like shredded potato with like a yeah, yeah. batter dough. So it looks really good. <laughs> you really have made a mess of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite nice. Messy Audrey. Mm. Nice on a cold day. Mm. If we could just melt some cheese all over this. Is is it more heavenly. is it more crispy or mushy? I'd say it's more mushy. Yeah, it doesn't really have a crispy exterior like those Korean pancakes we used to have. This is definitely more mushy and oily. Good nonetheless. In he goes. In I go. Which will he prefer? The potato ones or the zucchini ones from Good yesterday? Question. Good question. Oh wow, yeah, you can really see the, the potato. Yeah. Kind of the stringiness of it. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh, these are <laughs> awesome. They're kind of greasy, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Artery clogging. Yeah, I, I think I think on on a cold day I prefer the potato ones. They're a little yeah. more they have a little more substance to them, I'd say. Yeah, these are nice. Mm. And we have four more. Moving on to our fourth dish, we believe this is called Vareniki or Vareniki. Yeah, we're not entirely Vareniki. sure. And having just traveled in Poland, these are these, these look, look very similar, similar to the pierogi. Yeah, these look awfully familiar. It's cool how there's like there's a lot of uh, regional similarities yeah. between the cuisines um, in, in, in Eastern Europe. It even has the caramelized onions on top. It does. Yeah. And I think the ones the ones that we ordered, these dumplings have uh, mushrooms and cabbage. and cabbage. So let's try them. They're definitely a little smaller than the ones we had in Poland. Yes. Yeah. They're more bite-sized. Mm. Oh man. What do you reckon? They're so good. Oh my gosh, I love I love any kind of dumpling. <laughs> They're really tasty. Um, yeah, these ones are 
they've they've got like kind of that the, the greasy exterior, which is really nice. But then when you bite into it, the filling is is really tasty. Like, oh my gosh, that's so good. And I just love how you have the the onions on top as well. So good. I'm going in for another one. You know what else we notice on the menu? You can actually order these dumplings baked. Mm -hmm. So you can have yep. it boiled or baked either That's right. way. And they have a separate name for the big ones. I forget what it is, but yeah. yeah, you can get them differently done. In we go. So yeah, these are definitely just kind of like miniature bite-sized. I feel like I could just be snacking on the, you know, watching television, <laughs> popping them in. Mm. I know. This, this, I could eat like I could probably have like twenty of these if mm -hmm. I was hungry, if not That's more. Quite nice. They are very good. Mhm. Mm and you like the fillings? I do. Yeah. yeah. I purposely ordered the mushroom ones because when I had those in Poland, I just loved them. I think Poland still leads the way with pierogi, but this is an interesting variation. So yeah, definitely enjoying it. Still going strong. Time for dessert. Voila. We believe this is called Megabook, if we've deciphered the menu correctly. And if you take a closer look, it basically looks like a whole bunch of like little pancakes stacked on top of each other with layers of cream in between. Mmm. And honey. Wow. Decadent? This is quite nice. I feel like I've had something similar before and I can't remember where. Where did we eat a cake like maybe, this? Maybe, maybe, maybe lately in, in Kyrgyzstan? And yeah, it was in <laughs> Kyrgyzstan. Yeah, for dessert. I think it was called a honey cake. Yeah. And it had all these layers and just honey and cream in between. It's really tasty. What's on top though? I'm still trying to figure this out. It looks like some kind of nut. It comes with maybe? ice cream too. Mm. I think this could be like ground up nuts. It's really, really nice. Vanilla ice cream. Mm. Really good stuff. Time for me to try it. I feel like you've had like half the cake already. There isn't a whole lot left. Scientific purpose. <laughs> How many bites did you have before me? Just, three or, just, just only half. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try some with ice cream. Oh man, that is nice. Isn't it? That is one delicious pick. Mm -hmm. And I can tell that this place specializes in desserts because when you walk up the stairs, there's mm -hmm. this big like display of all the cakes. So yeah, yeah they're, they're really uh, pointing out all the different cakes that you can have <laughs> when you come for lunch or dinner here. Yeah, so we're just wrapping up a delicious meal. Yeah, that was absolutely that was, delicious. That was five dishes, including dessert. Yeah, we ate a lot. We definitely, definitely ate a lot. And it was all really good. It's just like I'm glad that we ordered a whole bunch of different things. We tried to we tried to kind of order an eclectic mix and mm -hmm. I think that we, we accomplished that for sure. So the bill has arrived. It comes in this cute little bucket. It's the time to do the conversion. Assess the damage. Assess the damage. Going to my app, xe.com. So basically this came to 349 Ukrainian Shrivnia. Can't even see the currency properly, guys. <laughs> In US dollars. <laughs> or U UAH. <laughs> UAH, for short. That would be 13 US dollars and 71 cents. So that's not a lot considering we had four oh dishes gosh, yeah, and dessert. It's like a non and drinks. And that, that was like, we each got our own <laughs> salad too. Yeah. So it was even more dishes than what we had expected. Also, yeah. <laughs> you want to see where I carry my currency? Oh my gosh. My sunglasses case. That's how I roll. That's how you roll. Anyway, it's nice, affordable meal here yeah. in Ukraine and delicious Ukrainian food. Absolutely. So it is breakfast time here in Lviv and we've ended up at the coolest cafe ever. It's themed like a post office and check it out. There's basically mailboxes everywhere. Yep. You have lots of postcards. You have the little like envelope feeders on the doors. Like it's so, so cool. So yeah, we're gonna head in, have a bite of food and then go sightseeing. So we're in 
inside the cafe, our food orders have been placed. Cappuccinos have arrived. Mm -hmm. And this place is super cool. We weren't even planning to come here because technically this place specializes in pastas and beers. But the one cafe we had walked into first was totally packed. Yeah. So we just like wandered in here by chance. We saw they had a little breakfast section. I mean, the place looked so cool. We were um, like, yeah, let's eat here. Exactly. So let's try that. Okay. And while you're trying that, something to keep in mind while traveling in Ukraine is that we've noticed in both Kiev and now Lviv that if like if there's a really popular restaurant and you just show up like yeah. on the weekend, you it's need a reservation. Full. You need a reservation. Yeah. We were like, what? How yeah. is this possible? Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you really want to eat at a place, it's better to make a reservation in advance. Yeah, especially that has happened to us several times since we've been here. I'd say that's the third time that's happened. Yeah. Yep. And how's that cappuccino? Tasty. Tasty. So a few thoughts on Ukrainian breakfast. Yeah. So when we were kind of researching about like what was a typical breakfast in the Ukraine, mm -hmm. there didn't seem to be like a, an exact standard. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you could have something like borscht. There could be like dumplings, but we've already shown that in some other videos. Yeah. So we decided to just come and have like more of a contemporary breakfast. A contemporary breakfast. Contemporary Ukrainian breakfast. But anyways, it should be really good. Like I'm excited about what's coming. And this is my first sip of the cappuccino. Cappuccino. Ah, yes. Need my coffee in the morning. This is your third cup. Come on, let's admit it. <laughs> I do at home before coming here. already had coffee at the Airbnb. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm wired for sound today, guys. <laughs> wow, that's beautiful. Pancakes. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy. Oh my goodness, the food is here. This is so amazing. This is so much more beautiful than I was expecting. So oh, no. right in front of me, I've got these crepes with apple and walnuts. And just look at the way they've like folded them and like twirled them. Like it's so pretty. And it has cottage cheese as well. Icing sugar, cinnamon. Like this it's is gorgeous. a work of art. I almost don't want to dig into it. <laughs> it is breakfast. And we are hungry. It looks like a little flower almost. Oh wow. Show us, the, show us the middle. The middle. Ooh, so it looks like oh. berries. Oh, I thought this one was apple, but maybe we got berries. Wonderful. Doesn't matter. Oh, I mean, the other I'm happy one, the other one would be apple then. Yeah, because this. Maybe? Yeah, because the other one has a uh, has a cinnamon flavor as well. Mm, mm. Is that good? Oh wow, that's really good. Tasty. Mm. I have wow. to say, we have a bit of a sweet tooth this morning. Mm. <laughs> Both of us ordered sweet breakfast, so. Yeah. And it's so nice with this like cottage cheese and all the icing sugar and cinnamon mixing together. Mm. Oh man. Gots mm. to love it. Mm. And such a nice breakfast. And those have apple. And walnuts. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's like a mix of um apples, berries and walnuts that? in there. It's kind of hard to see. I mean it all looks kind of like mush. Okay. Just trust my taste buds here. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Good stuff? That's some really good stuff. So Sam didn't want to miss out on the crepes, no, so... Sharon. I did not. And something that's really cool too, that we just noticed, is that they have, look at this, mint leaves. Mint leaves, yeah. Yeah. And it has a nice amount of like icing sugar, and just, yeah, it's just so beautiful. It really is a work of art. It really is a work of art. Like, these are the nicest crepes I've ever had in terms of presentation. Like seriously, that was such a beautiful plate. Mm. Mm. Mm, he says. I taste something that's a little bit similar to like a cottage cheese as well. Yeah, yeah, that's the sauce. Yeah, the, yeah. the white sauce underneath the crepes. It's really good. Oh man, it gives it a bit of a, a salty compliment to the to the sugariness of this. I really like that. Oh my gosh. And we have a lot more to try. And time for the next dish. Yeah, the next dish is a stack of little pancakes here, dusted with icing sugar. If you look yeah, down, yeah. and it's got um, this raspberries. Is raspberries. It has a, a lot of cinnamon, which I'm I'm really smelling and enjoying. <laughs> and I, apparently, this is going to be a sour cream based sauce. So yeah. I'm just going to take one off here. Those pancakes are nice and fluffy. Oh yeah, they really are. Look at that, nice and fluffy. Take it for a swim. Grab a berry. Oh yeah, that is awesome. Those are like, I just love, I love anything with a lot of uh, cinnamon. And it's sweet, 
but it's also tart with the berry and a little bit sour with the sour cream sauce. So mm -hmm. you have a lot of flavors competing. It's wonderful. Your taste just, buds are being entertained here. Yeah, very much so early in the morning. So <laughs> this is, yeah, I thought we were getting something a bit more sweet this morning, but it's nice to have the tartness and sourness as well because those are flavors I really enjoy. All right, girl, your turn. Got some catchy music going on in the background. Yeah, even the music has been good. It's like yeah. uh, very, very like, classic tunes. Sounds like American cowboy music. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow. It almost reminds me a bit of like a, like a Greek yogurt, no? Yeah, yeah. And sour yeah. cream sauce? Yeah. That's, that's a good. good. Way of, that's a good way of describing it actually. Mmm. It's just it's really nice. Yeah. Pancakes are so fluffy. I mean, love fluffy pancakes. This is a nice surprise. I mean, I know we could have had borscht or dumplings for breakfast, <laughs> but this is a nice change because I feel yeah. like we've done a lot of the the typical Ukrainian dishes, you know? Exactly. Yeah, I mean, like, part of having breakfast in, in different countries is realizing that, like, there isn't often always a standard. Like, people mm -hmm. people basically eat whatever they, they're in the mood for. Mm -hmm. uh, and breakfast changes from, like, a weekday to a weekend mm -hmm. because of, like, on a weekend and you're more likely weekend, to experiment. So. Yeah. I feel like on a weekend you're more likely to experiment, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this... This was all Sam's doing because apparently <laughs> pancakes and crepes were not enough. Yeah. So he wanted something else that was sweet. And our, our server suggested this particular dessert. Yeah. So it kind of looks like, what is it, like deep fried dough maybe? Coated in like sugar, cinnamon, and it comes with a little little sauce bowl here. Yeah. So let's see what this is all about. Mm. Oh wow. This is like a nice creamy vanilla custard. Mm. Again, super sweet. Wow, this is good. I mean, there's no way I can eat all of this, but I'll enjoy <laughs> one or two, no problem. So my turn to try. And I don't know if you can see this, but these are absolutely coated in icing sugar and cinnamon. Beautiful. Beautiful, he says. They're Beautiful. Art. Dunk it. I'm eating art. I'm eating art. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's that custard that really makes it. Yeah. And then the first like the first bite, the cinnamon really hits you. Mm -hmm. And then the custard and yeah, it's just really nice. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a, this is a wonderful breakfast, but it's so much food that it's turning more into a brunch. For I sure. know. And who would have expected this from a post office themed cafe? <laughs> I know. Yeah, that specializes in pasta and craft beer. Yeah. They also do a nice breakfast, guys. <laughs> If you, if you have a sweet tooth, come here, for sure. And time for the bill. Time for the bill. This is what it came in. How cool yeah. is that? I, I kind of struggled to open the box <laughs> for a second there. <laughs> Our little, little gift inside the receipt. Yeah. So anyways, that came to what, just over 200? Yeah, it was 207. 207 to be exact, which is just slightly under 8 US dollars. Mm -hmm. And to, ra to conclude, that was for two cappuccinos yeah. and three basically mains. Three yeah. breakfast mains. We oh. had the, the crispy fried cookies, the yep. pancakes, the pancakes, crepes. The crepes. And oh boy, we are stuffed. Oh my gosh, we're full. So yeah, you can't, you can't find too much better value for four, four dollars per person, really, can you? So yeah, I would highly recommend this place if you're looking for a nice breakfast here in Lviv, Ukraine. Mm -hmm. Why are you not walking in the safety of this tunnel? There's an open space here. Come on. <laughs> Come on. So it is lunchtime here in Kiev. We've been here in the city for about a week, and today we've decided to take you for Georgian food because we've noticed Georgian cuisine is super popular in the city. There's actually this one street where there's like a whole bunch of Georgian restaurants right next to each other. So we figured, the food is this popular. We need to make a food video. So yeah, we're on our way for lunch. And this is how you cross busy streets in Kiev through underpasses. So there's lots of climbing and descending stairs. Sam is a man on a mission marching towards the Georgian restaurant. No one is going to get between him and his food. Stomp, stomp, stomp. So what 
do we know about Georgian food? Well, we've never actually traveled to Georgia, at least not yet. So we're not that familiar with this food, although we did visit this restaurant a few days ago and it was so good that we were like, we have to come back. But what we do know is that Georgian cuisine is a mix of European and Middle Eastern influences. So the launch would be very exciting. All right, so the first thing has arrived and that is my Georgian red wine. It is a Saparavi, which is a dry red wine, which comes from Saparavi grapes. And I had this last time, and it's so good. And when they asked me, like, do you want a small glass or a big glass? I'm like, big. Make it big. And these are black grapes. Look at all, dude. All right, so at this restaurant, you get some free appetizers. So we've got a nice little mix of breads, cucumbers, this little bowl with like coarse salt and spices. And you also get four little dipping sauces. So we've had these before. These two are really hot, especially the green peppers. Yeah. And then we've got some beetroot, and I believe this one was cheese. Yeah, it's like kind of so. it's similar to, to like a cream cheese consistency. Let's go for the spicy one though. Oh man, this could be trouble. It's fiery. And then, ooh. Oh man. Then you've got the cucumbers, which are nice and refreshing. So you can dip this right into the salt and the spice. And yeah, big bite. It's good. Isn't that good? Okay, time for the first dish. Yes, so ordered a Georgian salad here. Ooh, and it yeah. has basic ingredients. It's just tomatoes, cucumbers, and onions. And you can see all those quite clearly. Yeah. And it comes with a, a kind of a nutty based dressing. Yeah, a walnut dressing. Yeah, so let's try that. Nice so I read and it's been compared to a Greek salad minus the feta. Mm. Yeah, I can see that. I can see the comparison. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The dressing is actually not strong. It, mm -hmm. it has a bit of a nutty taste, but yeah. it is light. Um, you know, all the ingredients are nice and fresh. It looks mm. good. Really like the tomatoes. That's good stuff. Good, good to get stuff. good to get some veggies in before the heavier dishes come along. Yes, indeed. Time for the next course, and I'm actually gonna have to read the name for this one because it's a little complicated. It's called Badrijai Nigzit, and this is eggplant rolls with a walnut paste, and it just looks beautiful. Basically, they cook the walnut until it's soft and then they roll it up with a walnut paste that also has spices and vinegar. They also put a little dollop on top with some pomegranate seeds. And yeah, it's just it so looks, beautiful. It looks beautiful. <laughs> it's art. It's art on my plate. It's art on plate. And it's so good. I already tried this one last time we came to this restaurant. Yeah. And it was so good that we were like, yeah, we're ordering this right. again. Mm. Let's see. I just love the walnut paste. It's so good. And there's more food. Oh wow. <laughs> it just keeps coming, guys. It just guys. keeps coming faster than we can eat it. <laughs> so yeah, the walnut paste, it almost has like a, like a hummus texture, but with like a really strong nutty flavor. So it's really, really good. I would really recommend trying this dish. It's one of my favorites. Next dish. Next dish is here. Yes, the next dish is here. It is the kachapuri uh -huh. and it comes with sulguni cheese, which is yes. similar to mozzarella. Basically, if you take a look over here, this kind of looks like a, like a Georgian pizza. It's yeah. even cut, sliced like one. It's sliced in, in, in like, you know, little pizza. triangles. Yeah, little triangles. And um, my gosh, is it ever cheesy. We had this last time too. Uh, so, so yeah. good. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like a salty cheese. Mm. And this one comes with double cheese, so it's yeah, especially it's very double the layers. It's very filling. It's very dense. So yeah, if if you're looking to get filled up eating Georgian food, you'll yeah. definitely want to order this as one of your dishes. It it will it will make you feel stuffed for sure. Yeah, and I think we're gonna be taking some of it. home. Yes, definitely. We There's made no we way. made the mistake of eating the whole thing last time. <laughs> By the time dessert rolled around, we were like kind of already done. <laughs> So next up we are trying dolma, which if you have a look over here, it's basically like a grape leaf that has been stuffed with minced beef, rice, some spices, and it comes with this white sauce. It almost looks like, I don't know, some yogurt or sour cream based sauce. I feel like it might be sour cream. Yeah, and this I'm actually trying for the first time, so. Hmm. Is it nice? That's good. Does the grape leaf give it a bit of a sour taste? Or? No, you know, 
the leaves are quite soft. I was expecting them to be a little tougher. Mm -hmm. But they're really good. I like that. So I'm really curious to try this one as well. I haven't had it before. So yeah, they just look, they're like, just the way the food is presented at this restaurant is beautiful. It's like a, yeah. really like a thing of art. Taking it for a like, swim. I also like that these are bite sized. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's so good, so juicy. Mm. That's the first thing that comes to mind, and you really do taste the meat inside as well. But you're right, the the um, the leaf is very soft. Yeah, it's much softer than I thought. I, I thought it might have more of a almost kind of a, like a leathery texture, but not at all. <laughs> it's very soft. You just you just bite right into it. And for dessert, like I don't even have room for dessert, but we're still going strong apparently. We ordered a sampler plate that has four different Georgian desserts. So I don't know the names of these individually, so I'm just going to read them right off the bat. So we are having Bagriatoni. No, Bagrationi. Yes. Pastilla, Gozinaki, and baked cookies with pelamushi and custard. So I think I can probably identify the cookies. <laughs> the other three are a bit of a mystery. All right. But I'm gonna start with this one because I've had this before and it's good. And where's my fork? My fork has vanished. I'll just use my dirty fork. Don't tell anyone. Oh, here's a clean one. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go like this. So this is really nice. In some restaurants, I've actually seen this called like a, a Napoleon or Napolitan or something like that. And it's basically all these layers, like pancake layers with cream in between. And it's so good. Isn't it good? It's so, so good. That's probably your favorite dessert. My favorite dessert that yeah. we've had here. Yeah. And, uh, so much so that I'm going in for bite number two. <laughs> and it's just you're, that cream. You're, you're ensuring that I don't mm. eat too much. A custard is so nice and like smooth and sweet. And there's icing sugar on top. Man. Mm. And Let's try you, another. Why don't you do one more and then one I'll have more. the other two. Okay, this one. This one's a bit of a mystery to me. I don't know what the exterior is. I keep thinking it's like a fig paste of sorts maybe, but I'm not entirely sure. And then inside, it's just more custard, more cream, the same kind that I had in the previous cake. So yeah. Everything is just delicious. I know. Such a nice way to end the meal, so isn't good. it? And did I mention we're having tea? No, we didn't. We're having some Georgian tea, black tea. And we, this is, we're trying this for the first time. We didn't order this the last time we came. We just had wine. So how's that? It's good. Goes well with dessert. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna try the other two. So I'm going down here for the walnuts, and they're basic. It's basically like walnuts and kind of like a syrupy honey type consistency. It looks like there's some like icing sugar on top. Oh, look at that! You see the trail, the stickiness. And you always devour that dessert. <laughs> you don't. You don't bother sharing that one. It's I all love. Yours. I absolutely love nuts. So, I mean. Just right up my alley. The sweetness, like the, the, the syrup and the, and the thickness added to it, mm. really makes it nice. Mm -hmm. All right, and the last one for us to try here, and we're gonna have a bit of a dissection going on, is the cookies. And then, yeah. see, as I'm opening it up here, it's basically like a, a, a cookie shell, yeah. and stuffed inside of that is appears to be like kind of like something of a jam like consistency. Yeah, and there's also one with custard right next to it if you open right. the, the other one. Okay, I'll do that for this too. Yeah. Looks good. Go. So we've got jam. Maybe you can make a sandwich. <laughs> Some custard. Some I'm just gonna try one for now. Yeah. Um, the thing that surprised me about these when we when we had it last time was that I thought the I thought the cookie shell would be more soft, but mm -hmm. it's actually kind of like it's hard and crumbly. Yeah. So I don't know what the ingredients are for that one, but to me it tastes a bit like almonds, like mm -hmm. an almond cookie. Yeah, yeah. I would yeah. agree. Yeah. Yeah. Just. The texture of it when you're biting it, it mm -hmm. does remind me of an almond cookie. It's um, good stuff. It's really good. That's also one of my favorites. So 
it's cool that like these two are my favorites and I think these two are your favorites so yeah it works out well it, it works out very well <laughs> so this is our receipt it comes in a little envelope sealed in the back and actually last time we came here the lady handed us this letter and she's like before you go here is a letter from Mama Manana that's mm -hmm. the name of the restaurant and I was like oh that's so sweet like they give you a little letter and no it's the bell <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's see what the damage is. All right, so time to assess the damage. It came to 819, which is 31 US dollars, so just over $15 per person. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's a bit of a splurge meal in Kiev. But man, we ordered so much food, and I don't know if you can see this, but we are taking a big block home. We couldn't even finish it. We were defeated by it, by the <laughs> meal. It was that good. Concluding thoughts Concluding on Georgian thoughts. cuisine. So I hope this gives you a bit of an idea of different kinds of Georgian food you can try. Basically, different things you can eat in terms of Georgian cuisine. We really liked it. Yeah. We really love this restaurant. I highly recommend it if you're visiting in Kiev, Ukraine. And yeah, if you get a chance to try Georgian cuisine, definitely do so. I don't think you'll be disappointed at all. Today. Oh my gosh, today is a special day. We haven't had Korean food in ages. Ages! Ages! We were actually racking our brain and thinking like, when was the last time? And we believe it's it was in Pokhara on Nepal. Which and is months ago. Months ago, that's half a year ago. <laughs> so when we came to Kiev and we're kind of here for a little while, we, yeah. we actually researched online to see if there was any Korean restaurants. We've been craving it for ages. Uh -huh. And we found one. There's actually one that's quite highly rated. It is Arirong. I don't know Arirong. if you can see that up there. And you know what's so funny? For a second, I thought Sam had finally learned how to read Cyrillic. No. But no, I was, was reading, reading the Korean. The <laughs> I was reading the Korean. <laughs> yeah, and then of course there's a there's a typical uh, Korean sign as well beside it too. All right, let's go in. Let's go. Anyways, we're hungry. Let's go in. Let's eat Korean food. So excited. <laughs> Okay, orders have been placed and I don't think there are going to be very many surprises. We have our favorites, we tend to order the same things over yeah. and over again. But we do get six free little dishes. The side dishes, banchan. Banchan! Surprise! Yeah, and there's other things that are authentic about this too. The little bell, the when bell. you're ready to order oh or you want to get more the drinks or anything. Ding, 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 ding. And one thing, so one thing that I did order a little bit different that I normally, I normally tend to get dosa bibimbap if I haven't had it for a while, but I ended up getting kimchi bokumbap, which is the kimchi fried rice. And yeah, we ordered mandu as well. No, we got the paja oh, instead, right. not paja. Right, okay, so we are mixing up a little bit. Yeah, but and I got sundu bujige, which is what I always get. I just love favorites. my my tofu stew. Yeah, it, it, you know, it's, it's late August here, it's getting mm. a little bit chilly in Kiev, so. Yeah. Yeah, barely, it's under 20 most days now, so. Korean food, what, what? So our food has arrived all at once, but we're gonna start out with the banchan. So we got lots of free dishes. We've got our sweet potato here. Looks like sweet potato, right? Yeah, I think it is. Oh, it's fat. It's either kokuma or gamcha. Mm -hmm. is kokuma. It kokuma, it is sweet mm -hmm. potato, nice. But like, it's almost like in pancake form. Yeah. We've got our pickled radishes. Yeah. Over here, I've already had a few. Nice and spicy. Mmm. So good. This one looks a little unfamiliar. What is this? Let's try it anyway. Mmm. Maybe some kind of mushroom. Oh, wow. That's good. That's what I was going to guess. And then mm -hmm. we have the bean sprouts, of course. Bean sprouts, in they go. Those are so tasty. And of course, we have kimchi. <laughs> oh, seaweed. Oh, seaweed. Oh, let's not forget. It's Our called, seaweed. I'm thinking Korean that's gim. I'm, for, I'm starting to forget what? words. It's kind of gim sad. Gim is for the dry, the oh, dry right. seaweed sheets. Uh, I'm not sure I would is. apply to this. But we do have the, we do have the classic kimchi here. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know what? 
This kimchi has some kick. I've already been having some. <laughs> Yeah, what Sam's been, not looking. Been sneaking in food while I've been filming. Mm. And what's the last one to the left of it? <coughs> spicy. End of your food tour. Oh man. That's like a spicy kimchi. This also looks like kimchi. It looks like uh, like a cook form of it. Let's see. Yeah, it has some onions in here as well. Yeah. Kimchi onions. Is it warm? No, it's cold. Oh, it's cold. Okay. Mmm. And that sweet sauce. Okay, it's a sweeter kind. But similar? Mmm. What is the name? Oh man, I'm so We're getting so bad with our Korean. <laughs> you know, it's kind of okay, sad. It's that sweet red sauce, oh like spicy and sweet that you add to your bibimbap. Oh, gochujang. gochujang. It's gochujang, of course. Gochujang. It's got lots of gochujang yeah. on it. Oh. Yeah. Throw it's on fire now. Face. Starting to get my runny nose. It always happens whenever I have Korean food. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I know we, we 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 love it, but we haven't had it in so long. I guess we're just we're not. We're not quite used to the spices again. That was yeah. like when we first came back to Korea again last year. It was like, oh my gosh. I first few days we were having some digestive issues, but then we, we got used to it quickly. <laughs> we won't get into that. Yeah. Okay, what are you going to tuck into? Oh, this is so exciting. We've got pajan, which Pajan. is like Korean pancakes. And it's beautiful. It's already been sliced up, but I, I don't want to choke on this, so I'm going to slice it further once more. Mm -hmm. so, you want to tell us some of the ingredients here? Yeah, so the main ingredient, of course, is the pa which mm -hmm. is the green onion, the scallion. Mm -hmm. And then, then actually this is kind of like hamul pajan because it's got, I can see that there's seafood in here. Mm. And we've got red pepper and we've got probably onions and other just kind of assorted seafood. Nice. So let's take that for a swim here. I believe this is kangjang sauce. It's like a soy sauce mixed with vinegar. It should be really nice. It looks like some spices yeah, in yeah. there too. Oh yeah, and a little bit of chili powder. You, yeah. You have to absolutely dunk here. You have to dunk your pajan into this. Doesn't taste good as good otherwise. Mm. That was awesome. Yeah. Mm. Very authentic. Nice and thick. And that's how you can tell that it's being served basically as a main dish mm -hmm. as opposed to just like banchan. Is that they make it nice and thick. Ooh, I'm gonna really like it. I'm gonna like it. Your turn. In we go. I'm just gonna dunk it. Dunk Proper it. dunk. Oh yeah. Ooh la la. Oh yeah. Mmm. 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 This is one of my favorites. <laughs> we arrived really hungry today. We were actually gonna come we and have- We skipped breakfast. We skipped breakfast and we were gonna come around 11 and we ended up having a super long Skype call. Mm -hmm. And now we're here at closer to 2 p.m. So, mm. yeah. We, so, we, so we, we, we brought our appetites for sure. This is really authentic. You I know, know for Korean so food in Ukraine. So authentic. Mm. So authentic so far. And now, time yeah. for the main. What did you order? Time for the main. I ordered the kimchi bokkeumbap, which is kimchi fried rice. Oh, yeah. And man, this this looks it looks so good. I can tell that there's chunks of meat in it already. It's got lots of kimchi. It yeah. has other vegetables. We and already mixed in the egg as yeah, well. Yeah, and the kicker is that they made it super authentic by giving us a runny egg. That yes. is that is how you finish. That's how you. That's basically how you plate, how you top um, kimchi fried rice. And Sam can't deal with runny eggs unless you're mixing if it's mixed, it into spicy fine. rice. <laughs> I, I should like it. <laughs> you can't see it. I have, I have really weird like the, the foods that I don't like. I have really weird conditions for them. Like, yeah. It's like it's just runny eggs on their own. Mm -hmm. Uh uh. But like mix them with rice. Totally no fine. Totally fine. So let's see, how is this? Mmm. That's good. Yeah? Um, it's very, compared to a lot of other kimchi bokum bops I've had, mm -hmm. it's got quite a bit more sweetness mm -hmm. to it. But it does also have a lot of spice. Oh man, it really does. <laughs> so you've got like very intense sweetness, which you kind of, kind of hits you right away. But then as you're swallowing it, it's more intense the spice and yeah, yeah it has it's very spicy. Ooh, oh, my yeah. throat's on fire. So oh, and it came with a little side as well. You ordered your bokum bok and oh, what else did they bring? I got a little soup. I think this is maybe like kerangu, like um um little bit egg egg soup. I'm not entirely sure. It's like a broth with right. looks like egg whites and some spring onions. Mm. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Mm. Nice. And that's that's kind of nice for coo like cooling your palate a yeah. little bit. So this is spicy. All right. Yeah. And because Shang's carrying. I feel like we say that a lot. That is, one, is, that is one of our very cheesy lines. We seem to have a number of those. Oh. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. Ooh. 
Not, not spicy hot, but just hot, hot, right? Hot, hot. Hot, mm. hot. Mm. You know what I mean about the sweetness? Mm-hmm. It hits you hard, but then the spice. Yeah, it is sweeter than any other bokumbap that I've had. Yeah. But, remember, I think the one we had, was it in Nepal? Mm -hmm. That one, the sweetness was just wrong because yeah. they had putting ketchup in there. <laughs> and This is this is more yeah, authentic. Yeah, you took I've, some I've had spice. Some, I've had some some kind of sweeter um, kimchi bokumbap in Korea, but it tends not to be that way. It tends not mm. to be as sweet as this. But it's still good. But the presentation and the spiciness and the other ingredients are definitely on on, uh, on par. Yeah. On track. With, I like it. It's different, but I like it. Yeah. But it's definitely got a little bit more sugar than than, uh, than what we're used to. I'm going to try this as well. Yeah. It's just nice for cooling the palate a bit. It's very, very light. Mm. I'll see you. Yeah, nice mild flavors if you need a little bit of a break from the spice. Exactly. This is really good so far. All right. I'm so impressed. Let's move on to your jiggy. Are you ready for your jiggy? I sure am. So for my main, I ordered the sundubu jiggy, which is the tofu stew. And it also yeah. comes with a... <gasps> this is so hot. Ah! <laughs> it comes with a bowl of yeah. rice, and that, plain white rice. That's the very authentic yeah. Korean rice bowl. <laughs> and the soup, I have to say, it looks it looks a little bit different from what I'm used to. Like It's not as red. No, it's not as red. There's very little broth. It's mostly all tofu. Yeah. And I'm used to it being like the soft tofu, like yeah. big chunks. But this one looks a bit was more curdled. Was there an curdled. egg in there? There was an egg. I already mixed it in. Yeah, and also, right. it looks like there's some meat. Mm. Which is unusual in the sundubu well, one. Sometimes you sometimes yeah. you do get meat in sundubu, but sometimes not. Mm. Spicy or just hot? Mm. It tastes quite eggy, like an egg drop soup. Okay. With tofu and a little bit of spice. It's not overly spicy. I prefer, you know, that rich red spicy right. broth. Right. It makes your eyes run, makes your nose run. Everything's watering. Also, it, it seems to me that the tofu is a little bit different. Normally, it would be more mm -hmm. like a, a silken tofu that looks more... Yeah, more like curdled, I would say. Yeah, um, yeah. It's different. It is a bit different. But it does taste good. I am not complaining <laughs> at all. Okay, Sam, yeah. let's see what you think of the food of the chicken. Mm -hmm. Will he like mm. it? Will he not? You know what? It tastes, it tastes to me more like a Dwayne John Jigge, like a soybean uh, Jigge. Mm. But um, it is good though. It is good. Yeah. Yeah. But it, I think that they made it as, as a Dwayne John Jigge, to be honest. Oh. It is tasty though. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, this restaurant has been such a pleasant surprise. Mm -hmm. We were not expecting to find amazing Korean food in Kiev. I know. And we have. And we have. We're in our happy place. Happy place. Very happy place. This right here is our happy place. Yeah. Now we're just gonna chow down on it, guys. No yeah. more filming, just <laughs> enjoying. That was so much food. So, <laughs> so much food. Yeah. We did a pretty good job, I think, finishing we the mains. We polished off the mains. We put kind of really, struggled with the side dishes. We put a pretty good dent in the side dishes. Yeah, we didn't finish them though. But yeah, we are done. Defeated. Time? It is time to ring ding, the ding dong. Ding the ding the dong. Here they come. Well, well. What a beautiful way to end the meal. They brought complimentary watermelon, which I think might be supak in Korean. Uh, Correct me if I'm wrong. Is it, is it not pumpkin? No, hopak. This pumpkin. Okay. <laughs> I think this is packs in there. Yeah. Anyways, so it came to four ninety one, which was nineteen US dollars. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was great value because we got three main dishes. We got tons of banchan, tons of side dishes. Forgot to show you I had a Georgian red wine <laughs> and we also got a big thing of tea to share. So yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, we're talking about like nine something a person to have a really nice authentic Korean meal in the Ukraine. Yeah, that was awesome. I would come back here again for sure. Highly recommend this place. The name is Arirang. Arirang. Ta -ta. Ta -ta. Ta -ta. Well, that's a wrap to our introduction to Ukrainian cuisine. We hope this Ukraine food guide inspired you to try some of these mouth-watering dishes. Now over to you. What is your favorite Ukrainian food? 
Have you tried Ukrainian cuisine before? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you soon with more food and travel adventures.